The sky is like a faraway dreamscape. The mountains are like rolling waves. This is where the myths began. This heavenly pond on Earth goes by the poetic name of Huang Long, meaning the yellow dragon. By vast grasslands and great snowy mountains. There are fluttering prayer flags and ancient pathways. Past and present myths have circulated here for generations. North of Sichuan province, at the juncture of the Sichuan Basin and the Qinghai Tibet Plateau, there's a large area that is home to over 3,400 beautifully coloured ponds in a variety of shapes. In the sunlight, the ponds sparkle like dragon scales. Seen from above, the ponds look like a huge yellow dragon flying up the snowy mountains and hovering over the dark green forest. This place has inspired the locals to create many interesting stories. The most popular of these is the story of the Yellow Dragon Master. The Yellow Dragon Master is the father of Yu the Great. When Yu the Great was struggling to control flooding, he turned into a yellow dragon, pushed Yu's boat up the Nin River, and helped him subdue the flood. Thanks to Yu the Great, the people could rest easy again. But then the yellow dragon master turned into a real yellow dragon living in Yellow Dragon Gully. Da Arbien village, not far from the gully, is the head of the dragon. From this dragon's head flows water that is crystal clear. The Qiang people, who are fond of singing and dancing, have been enjoying nature's gifts in Da Arbian village for many generations. Their songs and dances are primitive, yet graceful. They sing and dance to express their love of nature. Yeah. 
Yellow Dragon Gully is north of Da Arbian village. Bonsai Pond is called a waterborne bonsai. The 1.8 kilometer sands floor area is like a yellow dragon flying up into the sky. The spring in Revolving Flower Pond is the source of Glamorous Pond. Locals come here to make wishes. The waterfalls resemble chains of white jade splashing down into Glamorous Pond. The five color ponds known as the eyes of the yellow dragon are particularly beautiful. Colorful pools is a Taoist temple built in the year 1403. In front of the temple, Tibetan Buddhist prayer flags dance in the wind. This is a very distinctive cultural phenomenon. The legendary yellow dragon master is enshrined in the temple and he's worshipped by the local people. The Yellow Dragon Cave beside the ancient Yellow Dragon Temple is 10,000 years old. This cave is filled with strange rock forms and water drips from the stalactites. The simple local people believe that this is an eternal reminder left by the Yellow Dragon Master as he flew to heaven. These statues are said to be the transformed bodies of the Yellow Dragon Master and his two disciples who became immortals here. All year round, a crystal clear stream gushes from this remarkable rock. The water is considered holy by the Tibetan people. Drinking this water reportedly cures illnesses and ensures longevity. When the water is filtered through the rock, it is water that creates the mystery of the Yellow Dragon. Without water, there would be no Yellow Dragon. The creator of this giant image of the Yellow Dragon is the eternally flowing water from the snowy mountains. Treasure Peak at 5,588 meters above sea level is the main peak of the Mean Mountains. The beautiful land of the Yellow Dragon is fed by the water from these snowy mountains. The local people believe it was the magic of Snow Treasure Peak that created their beautiful home. This place has long been called an ethnic corridor. Beautiful scenery and the vicissitudes of time and war have brought people from a variety of ethnic groups to this magnificent land. Here, different ethnic groups live together as harmoniously as they do with nature.
The majority of the area's population is Tibetan. The morning sun shines on this village as smoke slowly rises from the chimneys of the houses. The Tibetans are pious Buddhists. Their ancient Mani prayer wheels are constantly turning, and scriptures are chanted daily and written on flying prayer flags. Their respects for the Buddha is as dynamic as the fluttering prayer flags. This is how they worship Buddha. They and the Divine Mountains stand guard over this heavenly land. Jagar Waterfall is just one of the amazing sights in this beautiful land. Jagar Waterfall drops 93 meters. It is the largest and highest calcification waterfall in China. The local Tibetan people have great respect for the mountains and rivers. They say that if you can speak, you can sing, and if you can walk, you can dance. After the autumn harvest, they always gather for the joyous Kampa circle dance and to bless the sky and clouds. The Wei people living in Yellow Dragon are the descendants of Wei soldiers who fought with Kublai Khan in the Yuan Dynasty. They often gather in the majestic mosque to pray. The raw Argai grassland has an average altitude of over 4,000 metres above sea level and it has ample grass and water. This vast natural pasture is home to Tibetan people and their horses. Horses are gifts from nature, and their life on horseback here begins from childhood. The horses here are extraordinarily robust. They are Virtu horses, one of the four most famous horse species in the world. Long ago, horses were the principal means of transportation in the Yellow Dragon area. 
one can still see the lifelike horses portrayed on the walls of the ancient city of Sumpan below Yellow Dragon Mountain. Riding on horseback from Sungpan on the ancient Lung An ancient tea horse road, people can still get a sense of the past. Along this road, cloth and tea were carried from Chengdu to the western regions, and horses and medicinal herbs from the western regions to Chengdu. Horses and carts were the lifeblood of the ancient road. Brook village lies at the east end of the ancient road where there has always been a guard station. This was a boundary in periods of war, and during peacetime, it controlled the flow of people and caravans for the local government. The most dangerous part of the ancient road is Red Cloud Gorge. At the entrance to the gorge stands a colossal blank tablet. Red Cloud Gorge is less than 19 kilometers in length but it's 1,000 meters deep. Thanks to the harsh environment, the ecology of the gorge is well preserved. Many precious species of plants and animals live here, and the landscape is like an oil painting. From the 13th to the 15th day of the 6th lunar month, people of all the local ethnic groups bring tribute and participate in the temple fair at the ancient Yellow Dragon Temple. This temple fair has been held here for 600 years since it began in the Ming Dynasty. It has never been affected by historical changes. The Han, Wei, Tibetan and Qiang people cross the boundaries of their religious and ethnic differences to worship the Yellow Dragon Master who has brought them peace and happiness. They hope that their descendants can live here forever.
many creatures sleep through the still and silent winter. They will wake up in a warm, bright spring. Like the colored pools of the yellow dragon, the cycle of life continues forever. <laughs>